The top two teams in the nation, Nebraska and Oklahoma, will be going at it in the national championship game. There is some controversy. Oklahoma is 10 and 2, but they are in for the second year straight after an embarrassing loss to Alabama. They want to redeem themselves. Nebraska's schedule dominated the only loss to Ohio State, but they avenged that. And here is Oklahoma's schedule with two losses against Tulsa and Texas. Armstrong and Abdullah are the leaders of this offense for Nebraska and for Oklahoma you have Bell and Matoyer leading that offense. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. There has been hype. There has been talk. There has been anticipation. It is time for all of those things to end. The final moments before kickoff. And tonight, one of these two teams will be crowned national champion. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Tonight, we crown the BCS National Champions here in Arizona. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy every Nebraska is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 34. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down right around the 40. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the... Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds. Nice run up the middle. He has some room. Tackle made. Round Tries to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. Ball on the 33-yard line. He fights forward to about the 30. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Steps out of bounds. And down he goes, around the 33-yard line. He's tackled at about the 20. He fights forward to about the 20. Tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. The offense knows that the line... Third and six. Ball on the 19. The Cornhuskers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown! Lester's had high expectations since he was a high schooler, and now it looks like he's every bit as good as suggested. Congratulations to him on his first touchdown. 
and he converts the extra point. Let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is. Six coming up. Ball on the 43-yard line. Pulls in the pass and steps Get your own offense the ball back. And that time they let their own offense down. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 40. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. And he's taken down. He's at the 20. The defense is... Runs outside for a nice game. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. He gets it up, and it splits it up. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync. And now the ball is loose. Using those good hands, he scoops. It's a great tackle. Zips it to the tight end, and he tackles him hard. Here he goes. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. He scrambles. He's taken down at the 20. We're through one here in the national championship with our score, 7-3, Nebraska. Makes it to the 14. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, Nebraska! And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 60-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Now the offense. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. An incredible series on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's at the 40. He's finally tackled at the 33-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Those linebackers do. And they hit him in the backfield. The defense was just all... and it's almost picked off. Well, that's a great job here. A long field goal. Kicks away. And it hits the upright. No good. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 47. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some prep work. He gets to about the 31. hit and taken down. Here they come. Decides to slide. Brought down after a nice run. He 
He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 13. Decent run here, right side. On this drive, let's see what happens here. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Throws it, and it's caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a 13-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The Cornhuskers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Five wide. Gets it out in a hurry. Picked off by the senior. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. Caught with room to work. He gets hit out of bounds. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. You know, Brad, we had a chance to talk with this young man earlier in the week, and one of the things he thought... Throws a bullet. Looks to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown. his second touchdown catch of the game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. He splits the uprights. No matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Tackle right around the 42 yard. gets rid of it and that'll bring up a punting situation the offense really right around has... the 12-yard line Nebraska is really putting a hurting on him right now well you wonder if it was a coach or a player who kind of lit the fire under this Let's offense see. he's to the 20 he's out to the 30 across midfield and down he goes at the 34-yard line that's simply a massive Touchdown, Cornhuskers! And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 88-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Not even close. The Cornhuskers are up big. innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blowout. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. We get on games all the time. They start to get out of hand. You got to empty the bucket. So, guys, back to you. Have some fun. Tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. That's going to do it for yeah, David. Any he... problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Nebraska in control. The 50. And he's level at the 46. Now he 
he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. And he's tackled around the 36. And now he's got room to run. Tackle made at the 23. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. Coaches don't. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drew Nebraska's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Gets it, he's in space. He makes the catch and... Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 44. And he hits him hard at the 36. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up. Close. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. run and he's brought down and they get nice yardage on that sends it out quick intercepted and he might take this and they'll return this one all the way touchdown Nebraska how about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit. <laughs> Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Kirk, we got a player down, obviously in some pain. They go with the run. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Brought down at the 4. He's in. Another touchdown. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much. He makes the PAT. The Sooners lost a player earlier. And Herbie, this is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You at least want to go down swinging. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. It looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. Nebraska's got a huge lead. He's going to go for the home run. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Okay, so they've got this one well in hand. I think now is the time where you call off the dogs and stop airing it out. And he adds the extra point. Teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Gains his way to the 37.
Gets out to around the 48. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. He lets it fly. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. And he carries the ball for a nice... Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Face, Face mask. And they got to him before he could get down. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. And he converts the extra point. Receivers and what's happening on the field. I got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. Zips it left. Complete. He's got room. And he will score. He continues his long tradition here of touchdown passes. What an awesome field general he's been in his time here. Orchestrating all these scores comes so naturally to this guy. And he hits the PAT. The Sooners have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game. And he's tackled right around the third. He steps out at the 48. Makes it out to about the 40. There he goes. Decent run here, right side. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Great penetration to get in there and sack. it out and that just might do it intercepted Nebraska is the national champion Kirk go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game Nebraska put on a show tonight and really had a chip on their shoulder coming into this game they felt they had something to prove, and boy, did they ever do it. What a year, and what a statement. No question, this is the best team in the country. today's player of the game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund. For the Cornhuskers, they rack up their 13th win of the year. And for the Sooners, this loss will put a damper on what's been a great year. 